Danger Dolan. From things you've never thought about washing like keys to drooling on pillows allowing thousands of bacteria to produce, we count 15 disgusting, grimy accumulators of bacteria found all around your home. Number 15. Keyboards. It's the simple question of how long has it been since you changed or disinfected your keyboard? According to the UK study in 2008, these things have been known to carry as much as five times more bacteria than from a toilet, simply because they don't get cleaned. Number 14. Toothbrush. You might think, hey, all I gotta do is brush with this thing twice daily and my teeth will be white in no time. What you don't realize though is that when you wash it off and leave it moist, bacteria swarms around the toothbrush head and gunks it up. Even worse is that assuming you keep it within 20 feet of the toilet, fecal bacteria will spray through the air and land on your toothbrush. You are now wiping your teeth with your own shit. Good job. Number 13. A game controller. You're playing Grand Theft Auto, you crash the car and your character dies. Well at least he doesn't have to deal with the fact that your controller has 5 times more bacteria than a toilet bowl. This was data procured by Domestos and UNICEF that revealed each controller held 7,800 germs per 100 centimeters squared. So next time you step up to play some PS4, you might want to consider wearing surgeon's gloves lest you handshake a family member and kill them. Number 12. Sponges. You might be all like, well of course sponges hold bacteria, that's what they're designed to clean up. Well sit down and prepare your rectal cavities for this little droplet of info. Those sponges are 200,000 times dirtier than if you were to drink from inside your toilet. You can microwave the sponge for two minutes to kill the bacteria, or you can leave cleanser on the sponge for an hour and then to scrub it. Number 11. Cutting board. There's an old saying, it's safer to make a salad on the toilet seat than to use one of your old cutting boards. Unless you were born under a rock on Mars, you'll likely know that preparing poultry and raw meat tends to leave bacteria like salmonella on the chopping board unless you clean it pronto. It's recommended to use two different boards for meat and vegetables, or use one board for both and then not eat the food, or use no board and just eat out of the toilet, assuming that you are in fact a dog. Number 10. TV remote. You'll often find this thing on the floor between someone's legs in the midst of a family member's coughing fit or in the dog's mouth. And then your sibling will turn around to say, oh man, how did I get this nasty flu? It makes zero sense. Well gee, let me take a wild indiscriminate guess. It couldn't be because half of all remotes carry flu-borne bacteria and there's some kind of unidentifiable discharge leaking out of the battery compartment, right? Now the trick to avoid getting infected by TV remote bacteria is to not have hands. Number 9. Pillows. So you're doing things in bed that cause tsunamis to sweat off your body. You wipe it away with the pillow and problem solved. No. Problem not solved. It's precisely because your sweat and saliva is on the pillow that bacteria is allowed to grow. Only for you to inhale it while you sleep and then you get leprosy and from that point on you'll have to be kept under the floorboards with the rest of your mutant comrades. It's important that you often take your bed sheets and burn them in an oven or at least clean them. Number 8. Smartphone. This comes as a surprise to absolutely no one. But pouring at your phone screen with fingers covered in the crimson goo of a dead elephant tends to leave bacteria on your $700 piece of equipment. According to MSNBC, these phones carry 500 times more bacteria than a toilet and 18 times more than the flush handle of a typical men's restroom. So next time your friend hands you their phone to look at the latest playable garbage from the app store, you should sue them for attempted manslaughter. Number 7. Carpets. According to menshealth.com, the average carpet contains over 200,000 bacteria per square inch, 4,000 times filthier than your toilet seat. They've been compared to botanical and zoological parks with hundreds of thousands of different species living under your feet. So take heed, every time you walk into your living room, you're murdering dozens of species of bacteria and because you didn't wipe your boots, also giving birth to a whole new colony. You should feel proud. Number 6. A light switch. Some things never occur to you to clean. In fact, more often than not, you would actively avoid cleaning the light switch so it wouldn't short out or something. This is just ludicrous though, and surely pouring water onto an electrical appliance will lead to nothing bad. But next time you bust out the filth-ridden sponge to give the wall a good old spit and polish, you should take a gander at all 200 bacteria per square on a light switch plate. 
Number five. Toys. If you have kids around, I can guarantee they've infected every single toy they own with saliva, mud from outside, and skin flakes. Teddy bears and plush toys usually have two times the bacteria of a toilet, while bicycles have over 15, and outdoor trampolines have 400 times bouncing all over the place. The solution is to give your child a glob of disinfectant and have them play with that, thus cleaning both themselves and their many possessions. Number four. Steering wheel. Some researchers at the Queen Mary University discovered that over 700 kinds of bacteria inhabit each square inch of a steering wheel, with it being nine times dirtier than a toilet. In fact, almost half of all drivers regularly eat food in their car. But since the fast food they wolf down have bacteria of their own, their car is basically a death trap, a giant motorized bag of rat poison. This is pretty easy to avoid though, just purchase a new car every week and give the old diseased car vehicle to someone you don't like. Number three, restaurant menus. Scientists have found that the average restaurant menu carries over 185,000 bacteria all along the edges. According to one microbiologist, we probably have about 100 times more bacteria on the menu than a toilet seat in a restroom. So next time you get some soup and find a fly in it, just be thankful you don't find a restaurant menu embedded in your food. Number two, keys. Have you ever thought about washing your keys? Well, you should, because these things end up at the bottom of bags, on a table, next to your testicles, or in someone else's hands. Sometimes the key links themselves collect grime, or the key which has been pushed in and out of a dusty keyhole for years. There's really no way around this one. If your keys are infected, abandon your car, your house, and your family, then live on the street where you are safe from grimy keys. Number one, bottom shelf of the fridge. This is a crazy one, and it likely never occurred to you, but moisture and condensation tends to drip from the top levels of your fridge and inevitably run downwards. You'll whack some produce on the bottom shelf with meats above left to frost, and bacteria will run rampant. So you may want to consider abandoning traditional food to survive on cup noodle with the occasional biscuit, but only on a plastic plate with surgical gloves and a quarantine shelter. That is it for this countdown. Oh! On your 700 piece of equipment. Fuck! <laughs>